guys, Ozzy here. As you can see, I'm back outside in the nice weather. Uh, really enjoying just uh, trying to get a few minutes before I run any errands I have to run. I do have to take a quick run down CBS. Um, I'm thinking this is only going to be part one of video for today. I'm going to probably do a second video today because I'd like to give you guys an office tour. Um, show you my glass collection a little more. Uh, you know, set a few things up and show you what's going on in my life right now with my home office and my stoner accessories and all that kind of stuff. As you can see, I've got my vape. This is those live resin cartridges that I've been getting from my buddy. Um, they're wicked good cartridges. This one is Northern Lights. Um, downstairs I've got cotton candy, but it's hooked up to my adapter right now so I can do it off my rig. I'll probably do a little bit of that later. I know when I do that I usually get age restricted. I could age restrict it myself, but you know, right now I'm just going to stick with what I'm doing. I'll let, I'll let them do it because... I go on to other people's sites and I see their videos and they don't get age restricted for some reason and I don't understand it. But it's fine. You know, that's what YouTube wants to do right now. Maybe when I get more popular or something, maybe it'll switch and they'll not automatically age restrict my stuff when I use my rig or whatever. Um, and like I said, these guys I've been watching and girls I've been watching are smoking right out their bong and I didn't have to agree that I'm over 18 to watch it so they're not getting an age restriction put on either by themselves or by YouTube so I don't understand why it's happening with certain ones of mine maybe it's the content I talk about because sometimes I do as I'm smoking mention my stepdaughters but I don't think that's it I think there's got to be something else to it but I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing because this is the kind of content that I want to put out for this channel I want to smoke I want to feel free to do on my channel what I do everything I do is in a state where it's legal for adult recreational use as well as medical use I am a medical patient so I do use for medical reasons but I also enjoy the effects so I also use for the recreational portion as well to an extent. But I like the culture that's associated with this particular subgenre. Anyway, so I enjoy everything about it. So I am not just hitting off my vapes. I am rolling my own cones. I am rolling my own... Um, joints. I am taking my rolling papers, my wraps, and turning them into cones on the bat that I've got to make little rolling rolled cones so you can fill them instead of trying to roll a joint. I haven't gotten there yet. I haven't wrapped a joint yet. I haven't done a good job with it, I should say. I've wrapped one or two, but they weren't very good. And right now I'm almost out of flour. Um, I don't really have the supplies to do it. So therefore... I can't do it. Um, I have money to get the supplies, I just haven't had the time to go and get the supplies. So right now it's kind of all up in the air. <clears throat> I'm waiting to see what I'm going to do over the next couple days, two weeks. Um, I do have a lot going on, I do have a lot coming down the pike. Uh, as you guys know, I do my stoner subscription boxes. I've got, this month will be Daily High Club, Hippie Butler and also hemper so this is a hemper month i also have some supplies coming in from amazon so there'll be an amazon opening i am waiting on a second box from hippie butler or i'm sorry not from hippie butler from daily high club because last month because of the piece having an issue um, i am waiting for them to fulfill the other 
box, the May box, so that I can do an opening for that. Um, <clears throat> next month will be my month off of the Hemper box. I'm doing every other month the way I'm working it right now. So next month will be a month off of the Hemper, but what I'm thinking of doing is on the off months of the Hemper box, doing the weed box. Um, or maybe this time around trying fat ass glass. I'm not sure what I'm gonna go with yet. I really, I, I know I got this nice shirt out of the 420 goodie box and there was some nice stuff in there. Um, the little bubbler was cute, the little chillum and the steamroller, they were cute. Uh, nice stuff in the box, I really liked it, but it just wasn't my jam, you know? Um, I like getting a rig. I already have a subscription that I don't already that I don't automatically get a rig with, which would be Hippie Butler. They tend to sometimes send pipes in places of rigs, but their pipes are very um, ornate, as you guys saw with that Gandalf Sherlock that I got. It got that very long stem on it, beautiful white piece. You know, since they do those things where they do these very nice custom pipes, I'd rather stick with them. Um, and their box is much more highly curated. The accessories that come with it are much better quality. Um, the wraps that you get are typically a better quality. Um, I don't mean to belittle the 420 goodie box they were good and for the price it is worth it and if you're a pipe smoker more than a bong smoker or if you really like getting um, a t-shirt every couple months every month whatever you get it in the box you'll love it but it's just not not for me right now, maybe later on down the road. And I was hoping with it being called the goodie box that it would also have a couple of things to eat. There was a pack of gum in there, yeah, which was great. And I gave it to the kids, they loved it. I can't eat it right now with no teeth. But for me, as I was looking at it with it being called the goodie box, I was hoping it'd have a little bit of a selection of different things in it. Um, again, if I want to get a box where there's something snack-like in it, and it's only going to have one piece of something, I'll stick with a Hippie Butler that comes with the Cottonmouth Candy. I particularly liked it. The problem is, because it's sugar-free, it can give me problems because of my head injuries. I can get migraines from, you know, Cicloro, from from different kinds of things. I, I have to have natural sugars. I can't have, you know, like chemical compounds and stuff like that. They give me headaches. And even though I've got the day piercing in my ear, which has stopped the migraines for the most part, I have noticed that if it's a chemically induced one, they still come on and that does not alleviate it. I do still have to go in and take medicine for it at that point, because even the medical marijuana does not pull it off. I have to just do what I can to get better. Um, so the best thing I've been doing right now is just staying away from that kind of stuff. So I am giving away when I get the box, the Cottonmouth Candy, because I know somebody out there will like it, and I can't right now, so why not make sure somebody else gets it? Um, guys, if you are enjoying these sessions, go ahead down right over here, and click the like button, then come over here, way over here, and subscribe if you're not already. If you subscribed and you liked it, why not go and do the third thing and click right over here that's the notification icon you click on that icon you'll get notified whenever I have new content coming out and if you guys are nice enough to do all those things why don't you just leave me a comment let me know 
what's going on in your life, what you guys are going through right now, and what you'd like to see on the channel, because I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me for now. I'll talk to you later. Ozzy out.